What's up everyone? Hope you are doing well. I just wanted to go over a book note with you from the book called Self-Reliant Entrepreneur. Self-Reliant Entrepreneur. There is the cover. What, uh, what the author John does is every day of the week for 366 days he goes over a cool little quote from a transcendentalist and he relates that to being a self-reliant entrepreneur. Now, if you don't consider yourself an entrepreneur, it's totally cool. I don't want you to get hung up on that, that label. Cons if you are an artist, a mover, a craftsperson, a craftsman, whatever, just substitute the word entrepreneur for artist, mover, athlete, um, whatever. Also, I would just like to say that I don't think it's totally possible for someone to be 100% 100% self-reliant or even autonomous. This phrase that we use, autonomous, I don't think we can be 100% autonomous, but it's a great book nonetheless. And I just wanted to read, uh, I, the other day on my Instagram channel, I spoke about basics and three of the strongest human beings I've ever grappled with stuck to the basics. They had less in their program, less but better to them, right? As in individuals. So I want, of course, Part of my daily routine is reading. And I like to share these things with you because I think they can be helpful for everyone. And I really want you to see the, uh, the crossover, the cross-pollination between all of our, our reading and our study and, uh, and uh, professions and vocations, right? So this is January 18th and it's called Time to Do Less. And I'm just gonna highlight, I'm just gonna read the highlights for you. Another foundational element endorsed by the transcendentalist was production over consumption. Production over consumption. Now, a lot of uh, indigenous and tribal uh, communities, they consider that the mark of manhood or the mark of adulthood. When one moves from uh, consumption, the state of consumption to the state of production, right? Productionism. Consumption, that you should add more value to the world by thoughtfully producing things rather than mindlessly consuming them. You should add more value to the world by thoughtfully producing things instead of mindlessly consuming them. Think about how much shit we mindlessly consume all day, right? Specifically in today's uh, media and uh, social media environment. Self-reliance, however, requires something less, fewer ideas, fewer objectives, and few distractions, and something more, additional space, additional focus, and additional discipline. Additional space, additional focus, and additional discipline. I'm gonna be doing a lot of posts on discipline, by the way. Discipline and impulse, discipline and freedom, not necessarily down the same path that is like a Jocko Willink would do, but I think you'll enjoy it. The space, focus, and discipline to gain control over the highest payoff activities in your business and your life. Self-reliant entrepreneurs, again, remember, substitute artist or mover. The self-reliant entrepreneurs find, create, and cherish the space to explore. It doesn't matter how many gadget-filled moments you use today. You must find the time to do less. Check the book out. I have a link below the video. It's called Self-Reliant Entrepreneur. I think you will enjoy it. It's a very easy read because you only read one page per day and hopefully act on it.